So it's my lunch break right now. And I just had this experience, you know, that I wanted to share. I think many of us go through this pretty regularly when, you know, we feel frustrated, you know, with our current situation um, or even defeated, like we can't change our circumstance. So I went down uh, this thought process, uh, this thought trail. Now hang with me here. Um, I have a story and some thoughts on this. So I was heading out the door to go to my lunch break and this used to be my time to go and do my daily workout uh, but I found myself in a pity party you know reminding myself I can't go I can't work out right now because I have you know this injury so here's the story you know I've been athletic my entire life and God willing I've never had to deal with any you know significant injuries but this past Thanksgiving all of that came to a halt now my brothers were in town for the holiday and of course there had to be some brotherly competition so we are we're lifting weights um, we're pushing to our max and my right pec muscle tears and it felt like when you rip a shirt um, or a piece of cloth and at first you know I thought my shoulder you know was dislocated you know fortunately it wasn't but my chest muscle was torn and I lost all my strength in my right arm and most of my mobility and I'm a chiropractor, so you know this is not good. I need to work with my hands. It's a very physical job working with patients all day. So I knew I was in trouble and I was in for a lengthy rehab process. So fast forward, as I'm heading out the door today, I sometimes forget I can't be as active as I wanna be um, or as I used to be. You know, it's frustrating feeling like, when can I get back to life I was living? And you know, how many of you are going through the same things? This frustrated and defeated feeling that overcame me today and that's what started this whole thought process that I wanted to share with you because I think it's it's so important you know we all go through overwhelming feelings like this or periods of time in our life that we get you know caught up in these emotions uh, feeling like swept under and maybe we can't push through them but I caught myself today so I wanted to share with you some of the things that I did um, and I do to break through these negative emotions and flip the script refocusing on getting well and so if we if we hang out in this state of negativity we start to tell ourselves you know we'll never get better um, we'll be here forever and then you've spoken that you know into your life and it will become your reality ultimately it limits our healing so here are some of the things that that i'm doing to change that narrative and I realized I see patients every day that are at rock bottom of their health journey or they're suffering in pain and injury. And we take them through five core pillars to unlock, you know, innate healing in the body. And so I realized that, you know, I needed to bring myself through these same stages of healing to get the best results. Um, so this is what I did for my injury more than just doing some, you know, rehab stretches and waiting starting with, you know, to make sure my mindset and my body's cells are in their optimal state of healing. And, you know, that negative self-talk has been my biggest hurdle. Uh, it really keeps resurfacing in waves. So from feeling, you know, sorry for myself to blaming the situation, being fearful of how this would affect my job, uh, feelings of self-doubt, you know, these thoughts creep in on me all the time. So, you know, pillar number one is actively working to gain control over those thoughts and emotions. You know, throwing myself a, a pity party doesn't do anything to help improve my situation. Um, instead, you know, applying positive self-talk, affirmations. Um, and I sat down and I wrote out a plan. So I had my goals clearly defined and a direction to follow. And man, this was this was huge for me as it keeps me thinking positive and on track with, with achieving my health goals. Pillar number two is movement and, and fitness. So my second step was researching and connecting with experts and people who had who had been through this before. I mean, I'm a chiropractor and I work on people with injuries like this all the time, but I can't treat and I can't you know adjust myself. So I had to find someone to help me. You know, having that guidance was crucial because I jumped right into a rehab plan and immediately started to engage the muscle so it could repair rather than just sitting around and waiting. You know, waiting doesn't get you anywhere. So it was important to find the right expert to show me how to keep that healing process moving forward. 
Now, the third pillar is optimizing the nervous system, and the nervous system controls everything in the body, including your healing. So immediately I went to see my chiropractor because again, you know, I can't treat myself, but my friend, he took spinal x-rays and we analyzed them for any structural damage. And then based on those results, I was getting my spine and my shoulder adjusted regularly, you know, pretty often the first couple of months to, to fix that ligament damage that I had caused. You know, after my accident, also my back and my neck pain were so intense due to how I was compensating, you know, for the injury. So, you know, getting my, getting my posture corrected, um, retraining the ligaments to hold that position, you know, that just really, you know, helped improve my range of motion um, and it eliminated my pain pretty early on. The fourth pillar is quality nutrition. You know, I just took ownership over the food I was putting in my body. You know, knowing that certain foods are more inflammatory and inhibit healing, you know, I really decided to commit to an anti-inflammatory diet. And I'll just say it, I cut out wheat, I cut out grains, dairy, nuts, eggs, and sugar. So basically I was eating just meat, veggies, and some fruits, but for me, it was worth it. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying everyone has to do this, but for my activity level and my job, I really had to, to step it up and maximize my healing speed. So, you know, this was big for me um, because within literally a couple days, I noticed the swelling had come down. My adjustments were more effective and overall, I just had more energy and, and less pain. So the, the fifth, the, the last health pillar, number five, is cleansing. Um, or in this case, it's, it's meant to take the right supplements for healing and repair of, of that tissue. You know, I made sure I was taking in uh, collagen smoothies twice a day, high vitamin C, and other supplements for tissue and joint repair. And to help with the inflammation, um, I, used, I used turmeric and I used CBD cream. And I could feel a tremendous difference and impact that the nutritional changes and the intentional supplements made on my rehab process. I mean, if I missed a day or two of the supplements, you know, I, I really felt like I was regressing. So that really helped keep me accountable um, and consistent. So, you know, it's it's been a journey. I'm not 100% yet, um, but now six months later, I'm back. I can do 25 push-ups at one time. I've been able to do over a hundred in a day, you know, lifting light weights, doing resistant exercises, it's progress. So I wanted to share this with you today. I'm not sure if someone's watching this that's going through something similar. Maybe maybe you have a muscle tear or injury like me, but these are, these are pillars of healing. The same emotions, the same ways to push through these negative barriers would apply to, would apply to anyone. You know, if you're dealing with a shoulder injury or a back issue, maybe an ACL tear, or you're trying to avoid a replacement surgery or even an illness, you know, whatever you're healing from, I mean, I know what it feels like to be stuck. So, um, I mean, I hear this all the time, you know, at my office too. And you know, now that I've been going through this for what, six months, I'm right in the trenches, feeling the sweeps of, you know, hopelessness and defeat but I remind myself that there is hope. And it starts with recognizing when those negative thoughts are trying to take control and, and you're know, actively working you know, to shut them off. So just remember healing is a journey, not a destination. So the lessons you learn during the journey you know, are possibly more important than the end goal. So stay positive, focused on what you want and, and go for it. So, you know, I hope this helps you as you work on your healing.